In today's video, I'm going to be talking about three of my favourite mirrorless cameras, cameras you might want to check out if you're a beginner in video photography. If that sounds interesting, you do not go anywhere because I'm Dave from TVR Creators. I make weekly content on the best cameras for creators and hobbyists. If that sounds interesting, you do a like and subscribe and let's learn more about these cameras. Now, the first camera I'm going to talk about is the Canon R50, which really is the top of the line when it comes to the latest cameras from Canon that do not cost the earth. You can get this now for about six, seven hundred pounds or dollars. Link to this camera and all the cameras I talk about in the links below. So go and check it out. This awesome 24.2 megapixel camera is a great camera for starting out in video and photography. Films are both HD and in 4K, whatever your preference is. Has a really nice touch flip screen, which is really nice for people that want to do some nice filming or YouTubers and stuff like that. So that's really nice. You can see exactly what you're doing. You could play around the different lenses. It does come with an 18 45 mil. There is the lovely sensor there which is lovely. Uh, <laughs> um, and what's really nice about this, I love mirrorless cameras. You can change the lenses depending on the situation. But the kit lenses that come with all the cameras I talk about today is really, really nice. This camera has an easy record button, easy photo button. You can play around with all the different settings. You do have a viewfinder if you want to take some nice photos with this camera. But what's really nice about this, it tends to come with a battery, a strap. I would always recommend a tripod with any camera that you use. But this camera is just easy to use, feels light, professional looks really nice and really is an all-round awesome camera takes a really nice video very similar to what I'm doing today just slightly more high on the contrast but it's really cool I would definitely recommend putting the video mode when starting out and just let the camera do the heavy lifting for you but if you do want to play around with manual mode and play around with the shutter speed and ISO that's something you could definitely do this camera really has everything you need and it also has a microphone jack which is really handy so you can attach different microphones to this camera in improving your video in every single way. Now the second camera I'm talking about today is my favorite camera of all time, the Canon M50. This is actually the Mark 1. I'm actually using the Mark 2 M50 to record this video right now and the video is very similar. The only real difference between the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 of the M50 really is the fact that you have what's known as clean HDMI which means it's easier to do live streaming and you can attach a cable to it. You'd have to play around but try to get rid of all the settings on the screen. But very similar to the R50, it does record in HD and in 4K but not quite as well as the R50. It has a really nice flip screen which you can see so you can see what you're recording or taking pictures of. It also has a viewfinder which is really nice if you want to take some photos of family and friends. Easy record button, easy photo button, slightly different places but doesn't matter. And the, the setup of the camera is a little bit different things are slightly different places it also has a microphone jack which is really handy this is why I still love using the the M50 in a timeless video it also has interchangeable lenses this particular one has the eight uh, sorry the 15 to 45 mil which is actually the same lens I'm using to record this video with so you get a good feel of what it will look like and bear in mind it's not the nicest day today and I haven't played around with the lighting at all I've just pressed record and what I love about the mirrorless cameras of these sort of range is it does all the heavy lifting for you so it adjusts the lighting for you you can play around with shutters be nice so but I like these cameras because they're easy to use you can just press record and it tends to do really nice video and what's nice about this is light it's agile like I said it has a microphone jack flip screen and what I really love about this camera as I've just said is you can just press record and you can get some really nice video feel free to ask any of your questions about all the cameras I'm talking about today and I'll do my best to answer that in the comments and let's do not go anywhere because I've got one more camera to show you one final thing about the M50 this is actually the M100 um, is you can get it now as for about four five hundred maybe sometimes cheaper than that and I'll definitely look around for a second hand or a renewed one so you can get some really good deals and what's so good about the M50 is now you've got the R50 out you'll get some cracking deals on the M50 now that's also a 24 megapixel camera now this Canon M100 you can also get the M200 which is very similar just a few more features it's a very similar camera starts with the same kit lens which is really cool I used to use this as my second camera or the camera to do my thumbnails with if you want something that's just a really good photography camera definitely check out the M100 or the M200 and you've even got the R100 now which is very similar to the R50 
50, you say that really fast, apart from it doesn't have a flip screen and costs half the price. Right, now the M100 is very similar. The flip screen actually goes up higher. Interchangeable lenses, it doesn't have a microphone jack, sadly, but the internal microphone on this camera isn't bad, especially if it's not windy or if you're just recording indoors. And you can get one of these for about one or 200 now. So if you're just starting out, you don't want to spend the earth, you want a camera that just gets you by, but record some really nice HD footage, I would definitely check out the M100 or the M200 when starting out. But bear in mind on the M100, you'll get some very good deals. You can get them second hand now for about 100, 200 pounds or dollars, which is cracking deal for a really good camera. And it actually has the same kit lens as the M50 that I'm using now. So this is why this camera is brilliant. Now it doesn't have a viewfinder. It's very simple. You can play around the settings if you so wish, but it basically just has like an auto mode, video or photography mode. It does have a nice little um, record button and photo button. You can play around in different settings. On all these cameras I've talked about today, you can get them wirelessly to your phone if you so wish by Bluetooth, which is really cool. A little power tip actually when you're taking out the SD card, just pull this, the screen back slightly so you can get access to the SD card. That's a little power tip I'd definitely recommend. Um, before I continue, I would definitely recommend a spare battery or tripod to any camera you check out. And feel free to check out other brands like Sony, etc. There's nothing wrong with checking them out. I'm just talking about these cameras because they're easy to use and I love Canon and I just love the feel of them, the, the video they produce and the photos that they can take. Honestly, if you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comments below. If you got value from today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe and why not buy us a coffee and check out my blog. Link to all that in the description below and that will support everything I do here, here on the channel. It's a little bit windy today, but hopefully it's not too bad. Thank you so much for watching. You guys honestly rock. And I've left you two end cars that are floating around, which are going to bring you even more value. Click on them, one of them, as soon as I shut up and go and check out the next camera that you could be buying. Thank you so much for watching. You guys rock.